This is Trisha from East Marsh Shakers, and um, we, I am preparing a New Year's treat that Dutch people have on New Year's Eve. And uh, so we're going to a party tonight, so I'm bringing them along. And in Dutch, these ones, they're called Olibollen which translated is oil balls. So you can see why it might be called that. Uh, but in essence, um, you ever heard of the donuts called Dutchies? Well, that's basically probably where they got this from. Um, mind you, they're, they're not, they would be had a... Um, glaze. Hmm? A glaze. Yeah, they, it, well, they have a glaze too, but I mean, they would, it would be a, in a formed, um, thing. This is all uh, um, free, freehand, and uh, so the dough is a yeast dough, and uh, so it's made uh, basically flour, sugar, water, yeast, milk, um, and then egg, apples, and raisins that are in there, and it rises for about two hours. It's a it's a kind of a sticky dough. And um, it uh, so I'll show you these are just coming out of the oil, but I'll show you how I put them in the oil, and that's how they get all their little uh, tails and so on. Uh, Nice, we're gonna like that. Just trying to get some errant raisins out of the oil. That's the last one's done. Okay, so that was a batch. And as you can see, I am not in my kitchen. I am in the garage. <laughs> because we're 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 doing it it becomes so stinky and smelly if you do it in the house. So this is also part of the tradition. <laughs> is uh, whoever makes the olive ball and gets to do it out in the garage. So this is our camp stove and uh, so you can see how sticky this dough is. So you kind of with the two spoons roll it in a ball and then you're going to drop it in the oil. So that's kind of how they get the the tails and so you do that and in they go. So this is, uh, yeah, a makeshift um, kitchen in here. <laughs> I can't get the bowl too close to the, like put it, I, I had it on that side and of course, <laughs> no. you know, you're, it, yeah, I'm, 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 it, well, it didn't melt at all, but I, I, it probably would eventually. So I'm like, I'm not going to chance that because that's my good bread bowl. And uh, so I will, took a cooler and uh, put it on the chair. Set up a temporary. Set up a counter. And you can see this is uh, using the, the uh, workbench uh, thing. So yeah, they're all different sizes. There's no one that'll ever be the same. And uh, I think I can fit one more in there. Okay, so as you can see when the oil, they start to brown on the bottom and and then when I'm just using these, I mean you can use a slotted spoon too, but I really don't have one. <laughs> so um, anyways, use this and I'm just going to, so when they start getting dark, they will actually turn over on their own as well, but I just give them a little nudge. And so then they will turn over the, uh, when they're cook, brown. 
the, the physics of this is that the, uh, the cooked piece is less dense than the raw. So they, they, they will turn over if they have the chance because uh, the top is heavier yes. at that point. So you want to make sure that they're, they are cooked. So, you know, when I first started, I kind of made one to see, make sure that the coloring and the oil was hot enough. So that's kind of what they're like inside. Yeah, a donut. And what we do um, to eat them is we, uh, we shake uh, icing sugar powder over top of it and that's how you eat it. And you can also have some icing sugar on the side and you can dip it as you're, you're eating it and whatever. So that's kind of like the icing that you would get on a duchy as well too, um, is doing it that way. So... Well, the, the glaze that you get is usually, what, icing sugar and milk? Something like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this we just use straight icing sugar. just just uh, powder it on the top and uh, there you go so now they've all been cooked on one side and and then <coughs> we'll have to wait till they're cooked on the bottom I could have cut I should have cut looks like I should have cut my apples a little bit smaller because they keep, keep kind of sticking out so they should be a little bit more diced than what I did so. And look who's here with his frisbee. Hello. <laughs> I did do it once with him, but I, know I, I, can't, I can't go away from the oil. Not yet. It's not there yet. So you keep on, yeah, checking them. You don't want them to get too brown, but you do want to have them cooked. I think my oil might be getting... I may have to turn up the heat a little bit, keep the oil. Cause it, well, you don't it cools want off make, a little bit all You the don't time. want them in, in there too long to be soaking up all that oil as well too. So Oops. this is a funny one with a apple tail. <laughs> Promontory. <laughs> Peninsula. Apple Peninsula. No trademark infringement. This is talking about the real apple, not the corporation. <laughs> and uh, these recipes, there's many, many different recipes. This is the recipe that we found works the best. And uh, you got it, what, from our friends in from Calgary? From a friend in Calgary, yeah. So, Dutch background as well, too. So, not our parents' recipe, um, but... Yeah, I think my dad's recipe was a what, too complex or something. Yeah, no, I think it was denser it was very, or something. Very cakey, I thought. Yeah. So, my dad's were always good, but I, I don't have my dad's recipe. Um, I have all his recipe books now. Um, so I should probably look look through it. So got a few more iterations of this. So this one recipe makes about about 40 olibolin. It says so I have no idea if I'm where I am at. But when I was growing up, my grandmother, my Oma, would make hundreds of these. They would have all the children coming home with all of their. Uh, there weren't so many of us grandchildren at that point yet, but. Uh, yeah, but you did they? Well, then did everybody when they got together at Camp Shalom? Did they? Uh, oh, there was probably many different many versions there. Brought their but I, I was just remembering back in the farmhouse. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, so we would get all the kids together and all that kind of stuff, and uh, there there were ten kids in my father's family, so uh, uh, they needed to have. 
hundreds of woolly bullum. But I remember um, being on the uh, the stairs um, from the upstairs where we were supposed to be sleeping, which in those days was an old uh, brick farmhouse that had no heat upstairs, so it was always freezing. It was much better to be downstairs with the the action was and where my parents were. Um, so we would sit on the stairs behind the door and uh, listen to all of the comings and goings. Not having access to the Ole Bullen, but uh, not being sent back into a freezing bedroom. <laughs> making them too large, but anyways, we're, we've got a Newfie Christmas to go to tonight. So we have it from our our church and uh, apparently we're going to celebrate New Year's at the same time as Newfoundland in Canada here, which is an hour and a half difference time-wise. So we will get home early. <laughs> in the Newfoundland time zone, which is a half hour before the Atlantic time zone. Yeah. Earliest in Canada. So an hour and a half earlier. So almost done. Or four and a half hours earlier than the West Coast. Yeah. So these ones have a little bit more room. And then I got one more you batch. Drop that one on there. Oh, that's a... It's an Albi? It's an Albi. Yeah. Want to try this? Want to try this? Want to try this? Yeah. No? Really? No apples? Really? I like pancakes. No, oh, he's going for it now. I don't know what it was. Thank goodness the weather here today is uh, kind of around freezing. It's Minus not, one. It's not too too bad, so I don't have to have, um, I'm not freezing out here. But just being here, standing here, that's why I kind of need a thicker jacket. And, and then you don't wear any good clothes <laughs> for this type of work either. So might as well use my... No, oh, you finished it. My chicken... Chickens would have eaten them. Yeah. So it's kind of nice. Um, so this is a potluck, so we're having dinner all together. Oh, what time are we supposed to be? 6.30. Oh, okay. Yeah. And uh, so um, we're from a very multicultural kind of, multicultural type of church, so Everyone's from different backgrounds, and we'll bring along food um, that I guess may be special to them. So this is why I'm bringing olive oil in tonight. And, uh, Not really a meal per se. Yeah, it's a dessert. potluck, so you know. What this is a meal. This is yeah. dessert. Yeah. So, and then we're gonna play a bunch of games and uh, um, some group games. And uh, spend some time together. So, yeah. Um, our Christmas holidays this year, um, the kids were able to come and join us after Christmas on the 27th. And, um, yeah, we had a good, good big breakfast on the 28th and then opening gifts. And then Roland got <laughs> sick. <laughs> so he was in bed for a day and or so and recovering and... We also spent some time with uh, the extended family of Rollins and uh, um, yeah. so it's been a good Christmas and we have much to be thankful for this New Year's. So we'll probably um, make a video in the next a week or so about what we hope to have in our 
New Year's uh, wrap plans up of 23 for, and plans, plans for, 24. for 24. We could probably have a wrap up for you. And uh, I know many people are doing that sort of thing, so it might be appropriate for us to do the same. So, Happy New Year, everyone, and uh, we'll talk again in the new year. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.